Hi everyone! In today's video, we have another breaking down yoga pose. But it's actually a set of poses. We are going to break down Sun Salutation A. So we'll start standing in Tadasana or Mountain Pose. So when you um, stand, Okay, so some traditions, um, they'll have their big toes together. So check if that's comfortable for you. Otherwise, you can be hip width apart or maybe even slightly wider. Okay, so remember to always have a comfortable base. Okay, so standing in Tadasana, maybe shoulders gently roll back, just that nice open chest. And then as we inhale, we'll reach the arms up. Okay, so first part. And then second part is when you start to fold forward, coming all the way down. Okay. So maybe for some, if the hands don't reach the floor, that's completely fine. Okay. Know that you can bend your knees slightly here in the forward fold or Uttanasana. Okay. And then maybe as we um, stay here, go ahead, you can maybe even move your head just slowly left to right. Okay. Just letting the neck okay. be, be gentle. And the next shape is the halfway lift. So inhale, come up halfway. So several options, either hands on the shins or maybe on the thighs so you can press the chest forward. Okay, so you'll feel the hamstring muscles engage. You'll feel the butt muscles engage. You might feel a lot of the back muscles kick in as well. Okay. Now, if it's not accessible to have the hands down on the floor, so tendency would be there might be a bit of rounding. But what we want here is to find that sense of the chest reaching forward. Okay. So you can place your hands where, where it will give you access to reach the chest forward. And then from here, we'll bend the knees okay, so that we can get our hands down. And then we'll step back into our plank pose. Okay, so next shape. Now, oftentimes, <clears throat> and then when we go through the um, sun salute later on, we'll also go through some options. Okay? Now, if in plank, so you want to spread the fingers wide, draw the belly in, imagine you're hugging a block in between the thighs, so legs are active, pressing up. Okay? Now, <clears throat> when we, for the next shape, when we go through chaturanga, let's do a modified chaturanga first. So we'll bring the knees down. And then from here, you'll start to reach the chest forward. Okay, still keep pushing and rounding through the upper back. Bellies engage as you slowly make your way down to the mat. Okay, toes will point back. Now, before we lift up, lift up to our back bend, um, notice the placement of your feet. Okay, maybe keep it hip width apart, or if you need a little bit more space for the lower back, maybe bring the legs a little bit wider. And then from here, we'll lift up to a cobra first. So roll the shoulders or the chest away from the floor. Maybe staying here for another breath. Shoulders are rolling back. And then as you exhale, you pass through tabletop, curl the toes, and then into downward facing dog. Okay, so oftentimes, um, if you hear it in a vinyasa class or in my other videos, okay, so. <clears throat> so down dog is a point where either you can connect with the breath again or maybe as a point of transition. But when you're in down dog, okay, so if this is a lot on the hamstrings, you can bend the knee slightly. Okay, so still find that lengthening sensation. So pushing away from the palms so that the butt can reach back. Okay, so it's not necessary for the heels to press down. But for some, if that's accessible for you, go ahead without compromising the length in the spine, okay? And then to finish off the sun salute one round, you look forward, okay? You can step forward, walk forward. One foot followed by the other. Remember the placement of the feet again. Inhale, you'll find that halfway lift. So placing your hands where you can find that length through the chest. Exhale, you'll fold forward again. And then inhale, you'll come all the way up. Hands reach up, maybe even look up. And then hands back by the sides. Okay. We'll go through that again. Do another version of Chaturanga. Okay. So grounding through the feet. Inhale, maybe arms will reach up out to the sides. Maybe you look up if that's accessible for the neck. Maybe even hands together. And then exhale, we'll fold forward all the way down. Okay. Maybe quick 
downward drive inhale come up halfway again find that sensation of the chest lengthening forward so maybe on fingertips maybe on the shins maybe on thighs as you exhale bend the knee so you can get your hands down you'll step back to a plank okay and then from here draw that zipper <clears throat> pushing away from the hands, shoulders are active. Can you still keep that same engagement? As you exhale, you reach forward, elbows will bend any amount, and then from here, toes will point back, and then now we're in our upward facing dog. Okay, so shoulders are rolling back, finding that zipper at the belly, and then as you exhale, we'll curl the toes into downward facing dog. Breathing in and out. And then if you're doing this tutorial or breaking down video, you can stay in down dog a couple of more breaths. And then to finish another round, you can look forward, knees will bend. You can step or walk forward. Inhale, find that halfway lift. So remember, in the transition, you can always adjust. Exhale will fold forward. And then inhale, arms will lift up all the way up. Maybe again, hands touch, you can look up. And then exhale, hands back by the side. So we'll go through it one more time. And then this time, let's pace it with the breath. Okay. Inhale, we'll reach the arms up. Exhale, we'll fold forward. Inhale, come up halfway. And then as you exhale, palms press down. Step back to your plank. You can breathe in here again. And then as you exhale, elbows will bend. Breathing in, either to cobra or up dog, maybe even locust. And then exhale into downward facing dog. You can stay here for a breath or two. And then we'll bend the knees, looking in between the hands, stepping forward. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll reach the arms all the way up. And then exhale, hands back by the sides. So I hope that tutorial was helpful for you. Um, if you have a limited amount of time in your day to exercise, you can do Sun Salutation A as many times as you like. And in some practices, we even um, do it 108 times. So maybe give that a try. So don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comment, please drop one below. I would like to thank you for watching. This is Every Yoga by Jo and Daya, sharing everyday yoga for everybody.